So welcome back. Today I'm going to go ahead and do just a little build video. I'm going to try to expand out this creeper farm a little bit to improve the rates that creepers spawn because it's terribly slow. I know I can expand up to make it higher and I can expand out. I don't really want to expand up anymore right now, so I'm going to expand outwards. So, this video is going to be a little bit of me building and giving a little bit of commentary along the way. So, I've already checked to make sure there's no creepers inside. So, first thing I want to do is just break in and say hi to the snowman as far as expansion is I need to expand it out three more blocks actually mm, I'll be I'll just break out this whole wall here first Woo, that would not have been good I almost forgot. Go ahead and get this all down. So. In order to keep spiders from being able to spawn. I need to have only one space between each of the carpets. So that should keep spiders from spawning. Being like that. So I can come out one more past that. that's two more here I'm not sure about the range on the snow golems um, so for right now I'm just gonna expand it out that far then come along Add all those back in. So, with that all added in. I just need to craft up some trap doors. I'll make that many for right now. I'll see if that's enough to cover it. So the trap doors make sure that only creepers can spawn. And let's go over to this next wing over here. Chop down this wall. back out to and 
fill in the wall here. So if you want a little bit better um, understanding of how this creeper farm works, what happens is creepers tend to think that these trap doors are like this all the time. So whenever they spawn, the snowman starts throwing snowballs at them. They get angry at the snowman and try to come blow them up. And they think they can just walk across the trap doors like that. But in reality they can't. So they fall down into the water here. Um, need to grab that ta crafting table back out. And make some more trap doors. And finish filling those in. And on to the next. Oh, almost forgot the carpet. There we go. And on to the next one. So if you're watching this video, I'm most likely on vacation right now, if you're watching it as it comes out. Went on a cruise to the Bahamas with my wife. It's always good to get away and enjoy life a little bit. As of when I'm recording this, I haven't been back to Troll Race in a little while. I did get on just long enough to become bow top number one. Last time I saw my balance, it was six million, er, sorry, six billion. So I was ahead of Raggy now. Doors. And so still want to get back over there and just kind of say hi. I haven't really missed playing over there. There hasn't really been much to have done to play lately. Or before I left. But it would be nice to set the bank back up. and That way players can actually make a little bit of money. That's one of the problem with servers that have money like that. It's easy to become a monopoly. And that's one of the games that I'm really good at is Monopoly. I know how to manipulate 
the game to where I can pretty much win. It's either I win really good or I make it really hard for other people. And so I've kind of done both on Troll Race. I made it super easy for me to get money and super hard for everybody else to get money. And 20 of those should be enough to cover it. Actually, I guess it was only 18 that I needed. But there we go. Another layer expanded out. I do have eight carpets left over, so I might go up and do another layer up on top. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it as is. See if that improves my rates a little bit. If not, I'm going to have to go higher with this. And I need to get out of here, so I'm going to go ahead and break out here. And expand out a block. Get rid of that one. And. Fly myself back down. So that's how you expand out on the creeper farm. I'll give a link for instructions on how to build the entire thing in the description. But that's all I have for today, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.